exploding a tire inside a car. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Hey there, fellas. Now this is going to be one hell of an evening. We've decided to have a bit of fun. We've already been to this place before. It's a specially designated spot for conducting all sorts of nutty activities. So a lot of people have been asking us to take a tire, place it inside a car, and inflate it to the point where it explodes. We actually had the right tire for the job, one for a commercial vehicle. But you see, here's the problem that we had with that tire. The thing is, we couldn't fit the damn thing through the door opening. Stuffing it in would mean either removing the rear glass or the windshield, most likely the rear window. We decided to spare ourselves the trouble. So on the way here, we found that there tire. That's an UAS wheel right there. So we installed a fitting and soldered on a bit of copper tubing. Now the tire can withstand a ton of pressure. And if we were to use just some normal hoses, just your regular sort of oxygen hoses, well, the thing is that they can't handle that amount of pressure. As for the copper tubing, I'm pretty sure it can hold its own. Otherwise, it's all pretty straightforward. We've extracted everything from the cabin, all of the seats and everything else. The wheel is in there. We've soldered up all of the lines. And over there, we've got a generator and a high-pressure air pump situated about 40 meters away from the car. I think it has a capacity of almost 4,500 PSI, that thing. Should be enough. Right, let's fire up the generator, activate the compressor, keep an eye on the manometer and uh, wait for that tire to explode. Let's do this. Okay, so here's what's up. It worked beautifully. Check out what's left of the tire. It's pretty obvious that the tire was torn to pieces. Upon exploding, the tire also laid waste to this Lada. Yeah, this car is definitely toast. Check out what's going on here. The car is all swollen, the roof is folded, we're looking at a sheared off fender, the underbody caved in, almost even to the point where the frame rail is torn off. The doors are all puffy, that was pretty obvious. Some of the windows actually stayed in place for whatever reason. The windshield and the rear glass, those are gone. As for the side windows, some of them flew out and others stayed put God knows why. Okay, that was pretty epic. The explosion was quite dramatic. So a mere 16-inch tire from an UAS was able to cause such severe damage. Now imagine if we were able to get a truck wheel in there. I'm guessing the roof would fly out together with the windows. Now don't try this at home. This is incredibly dangerous. As for the pressure, it actually wasn't that high. According to certain estimates, a wheel like this one should be able to hold anything between 660 and 730 PSI. But for some reason it ruptured at about 300. It obviously wasn't new. It probably sustained a bit of damage in the past, which is the most likely explanation for what happened. I say this experiment was a massive success. 
One wheel was enough to destroy the car. All right, guys, this experiment has been a huge success. Everything is just the way we wanted. The tire and the car are both goners. It's all good. You guys watch our videos, leave some comments and suggestions, subscribe, and don't forget about that notification bell. All right, catch you later.